Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Call of Duty recently posted a blog post with a bunch of information about Warzone 2.0 as well as DMC. I already covered the Warzone part of the blog post, however I decided to take the DMC part and make it into its own separate video because it was quite lengthy and I thought, okay, I'm gonna split it up. So if you want the full picture of, of everything, I'll leave a link down below to the video where I cover the Warzone part of, of this blog post, but in this one we're just focusing on the DMC. So without any further ado, Let's get to it. Now let's take a closer look at DMC. The ultimate risk for ultimate rewards. Whether you infiltrate alone or squad up, there are no guarantees of keeping what you earn. Play your way to survive and build up a stocked arsenal with the ultra rare weapons crate as the ultimate prize. Choose your faction. The Legion, White Lotus and Black Moose need operators. Take on their missions to learn more about DMC, stock up on items and advance the intricate story of a volatile power struggle. Explore El Masra. Contracts, world events and more await in this open world. The only hazards stopping you are enemy operators, AI combatants, sandstorms, radiation and the threat of being left behind when all actual opportunities are gone. Explore, loot, extract. Play for keeps in the DMC. DMC is an open world narrative focused extraction mode where operators have free reign to complete faction based missions, take on additional side objectives, engage with enemy operators or AI combatants and search for valuable items all while fighting to survive toward exfiltration. Essentially your goal in DMC is to infiltrate El Mastra, collect valuable items while performing various tasks and escape before dying or the time limit is reached. Instead of dropping in from a plane, operators are set to enter at random points around El Mastra. In theory, not every operator will be completing the same tasks. While there are always faction missions to complete, there are always contracts to find, events to encounter and points of interest to explore. All of this is usually marked on the tag map. For the benefit of your survival and success in this mode, your operator has a backpack. This holds everything from weapons and equipment to cash and other valuables that can be used to buy items in the shops. While in the DMC, any found items, from containers, plucked off deceased soldiers or loose in the world, must be manually placed place in the backpack. At any time during the match you have the option to exfiltrate, do this by calling in a helicopter transport at specific marked locations on the map. After you use all marked exfil lo locations, a final exfil point is revealed. This is the last means of escape before the match is over and your escape becomes impossible as, op uh, as operators are presumed dead due to becoming MIA. DMC is a single life game mode in which dying results in the loss of all non-permanent items in your backpack. Squad mates can perform revives to save your life, but ultimately in every match you have the inherent risk of forever losing items earned in the mode. Then there are meet the factions, lord driven guides to DMC, I'm not gonna go through all that right now. We basically have Legion, White Lotus and Black Moose. Those three are the different factions. The three factions offer plenty of missions to tackle in DMC, but those searching for more action are also free to do the following during any infiltration. Contracts, just like in Battle Royale, DMC contains quick completion objectives that can be accepted in match for cash and other rewards. While these contracts share the same icons as their Battle Royale counterparts, their objectives are different. Here are some of the DMC contracts on offer and the tech map icon for each. Secure Intel slash Geiger search. Find Intel on hard drives, then go to the nearest radio tower to upload its data. Alternatively, it may ask you to collect uranium rods found with a Gaga counter. Elimination, crosshair, rescue a hostage within a locked building, then carry them to the nearest helicopter expo location. Cargo delivery slash shipment briefcase. Depending on the specific contract, find a vehicle or boat with precious cargo for drop off at a marked location. Feel free to keep the vehicle after the drop off. That's a nice bonus. Hunt. Hunt an enemy operator team marked as high value targets due to the activity within the DMC match. Destroy supplies. Locate and destroy two supply sites with planted bombs. World activities. Other icons on the DMC's tag map indicate additional side objectives, safes. SAM sites, UAV towers, hidden caches, strongholds, sandstorms and radiation. Fighting other operators and assimilation. While DMC focuses mainly on eliminating AI combatants, you may also encounter other operators during your travel across El Masra. You are free to engage or avoid these squads if you see fit. In squad based DMC matches such as trios at launch, there is also the option to assimilate with other squads instead of fighting them. Though you might be initially reticent to partner with rival operators through proximity chat and a calm head, you could try to foster a temporary alliance. 
you may be glad you did, as this is incredibly useful. First, if all operators are trying to complete the same faction mission, they may want to party up and tackle it together. Alternatively, if one group is nearer to DMC and can convince a more experienced party to help them out, that could help them survive in a match longer. Or, in situations where two squads are in a heated battle, they can ultimately decide to save their ammo, assimilate and revive each other before soldiering on. Also, after assimilating, operators cannot pull a general shepherd and cut loose ends. Friendly fire is disabled on temporary squad mates. The backpack looting and storage, as opposed to simplified pickup mechanics and a smaller loadout system in Warzone 2's Battle Royale, DMC item gathering involves storage management in a large backpack, which is brought into and out of batches to carry weapons, equipment, valuables and more. Looting. In DMC, you you can carry the following items in a loadout. Two weapons with their maximum amount of ammo, two equipment pieces, a field upgrade and kill streak, armor plates and gas mask. Everything else, such as cash, additional ammo, weapons and equipment and valuables, is stored in the backpack. Each item picked up at DMC that is over the loadout capacity is automatically placed into the backpack. If the item is within a container, example, a medical supply case or a dead operator's pack or a weapons cache, you must individually select items from that container to place within the backpack. If at any time you wish to drop something within the backpack, it must be individually selected and dropped. The same applies for swapping inactive loadout items like equipment or field upgrades with ones of your loadout. Carrying around different types of loadout items is incredibly helpful for adapting to the DMC. For example, keeping an eye on a spare heartbeat sensor in the backpack is helpful for traveling through strongholds where multiple combatants and operators can be present. Or if you're about to go across a wide open stretch of desert, you can stash a shotgun in the backpack and swap to a long range rifle. Every item, including loadout items like weapons, also has a cash value associated with it. Exchange these items at buy stages for cash to use for missions and other items. Anything you extract from the DMC, cash, weapons and other items are kept in storage, which you can access at any time between matches in the pre-match lobby. You are free to take anything from the storage and put it into the backpack or active loadout for the next infiltration. The storage system incentivizes operators who can exfil with as many items as possible, especially contraband weapons. Contraband weapons found across DMC. Contraband weapons are the primary means of defense and are the main items permanently lost in the DMC upon death. Any weapon found within DMC is considered a contraband weapon. This includes weapons found on operators or combatants or loose in the world or within containers. Contraband weapons can contain any from 0 to 5 attachments and may not be the most effective version of that weapon possible. For more potent armaments, consider obtaining weapon blueprints. Weapon blueprints have a unique property, they're not permanently lost upon death. Instead, dying in DMC with a weapon blueprint on your person makes the blueprint inaccessible for a period of time, usually a few hours. Functional weapons in DMC extracting with any contraband weapon unlocks it across all other game modes. This includes the M13B assault rifle, a new free functional weapon earned by defeating Redacted. Exfil or death. The end game for every DMC match is the same. Get out or get dropped. Exfil locations are the only sure way out of El Mestra in DMC. After you manually activate an extraction point by calling in an Exfil helicopter, the point will be marked on the tag map for all other squads. At the same time, AI combatants will begin to swarm the area to prevent your escape. Survive this onslaught and you will be able to leave the match safely. Otherwise, another squad is sure to use the helicopter that was conveniently called in. There are a finite number of exfil points in a DMC match. After all are used, a final site will be marked. Just like any other site, an exfil helicopter must be called in by a team and it's very likely to be swarmed by combatants. However, it will remain in the area for a short duration before it leaves all remaining operators to be listed as MIA. The hostage rescue contract also offers the ability to exfil after successfully de delivering the hostages. Death! As mentioned, the Anything in your backpack is lost upon death except for weapon blueprints. In solo modes there is a zero safety net. If you go down, those backpack contents are gone. In squad based modes, however, there are two opportunities to stay alive. The first is via downed revive, which Call of Duty Warzone players should already be familiar with. Secondly, if a friendly player is KIA, they can still be revived at the spot of their death, although this process will take longer than a downed revive. Naturally, this is just the start of your DMC experience. Expect continuous updates to this mode as the Modern Warfare 2 seasons progress.